you know, for 50 years, hip hop has made such a global impact from the music to the clothing, even reaching college campuses. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. For Josh Rousey. Without a doubt, it has kind of been the, the soundtrack that kind of guides our lives. Hip hop is a form of self-expression. An art form where I've learned to be my most authentic self, my God boy self. He's an instructor here at the Carolina Hip Hop Institute on the campus of UNC Chapel Hill. This is the Beat Lab. It houses music equipment from turntables to drum machines and synthesizers. Hey. And Rousey, also known as Rowdy, showed me how it worked. Student Justice Mocker shared who influenced his love for hip hop. That's got to be the North Carolina zone, J. Cole. Even inspiring him to take the class. The, the realness, the rawness, the vulnerability. Over the years, the Hip Hop Institute has had big names hold workshops. Connects with students where they are. Program founder and director Mark Katz says the most famous name was Fife Dog from Tribe Called Quest. He's one of the many artists who signed this wall. I would say it was a life-changing experience for the students. And it also turned out that he was a huge Carolina basketball fan. It's not lost on them that hip hop continues to influence society today. And North Carolina has become a focal point. Thank you all for coming out. Holding one of the largest outdoor music festivals, hosted by Grammy Award winning and multi-platinum hip hop artist, J. Cole. Over the years, hip hop's culture has produced many homegrown legends. And we can't forget about this North Carolina anthem. North Carolina, come on and, and as hip hop turns 50, we're all reminded how the genre continues to inspire. Now what's the deal, man? Didn't go to Hill, man. Can hip hop actually live in Chapel Hill? Man, I've been finding a master plan like every week, like off the top from the words that I speak, I might preach like sheesh. And back out here live, the uh, Carolina Hip Hop Institute has been around for three years. They were on hiatus this year, but I'm told they are set to make a return next summer. Back to you all.